Hello everybody, I have some uh, more roots with me and as you can see my cat is walking around on the counters as usual. <laughs> so uh, yeah, these are two different roots that were sent to me by Matt and Megan over in Seattle. They have a... Are you coming down? Okay, she's coming down guys. Uh, they have a nursery, a Wanderlust Nursery, so if you're interested in these, check out the link below. This is uh, Mashua. And this one's pretty interesting looking. It's got like these crazy uh, ridges on it. Like, look at that. And I've heard that this one has a very pungent flavor. So uh, I'm gonna take a little bit, a little taste of it raw and see what it tastes like. And then uh, when you cook it, it's supposed to get rid of some of that, uh, that pungent flavor. So a lot of people don't like it because of that taste. So I'm gonna find out why. And this one here is Uluko. The Oluco is one that I've actually seen before. When I was in Bolivia, I noticed this one, and I bought some just for myself. Uh, I mean, I wasn't making any uh, amazing plant sort of videos back then, but they are the most vibrant colors. So besides this one here, like this one is like this magenta kind of color, they also have like yellows and oranges and like ones that have like a little bit of like a greenish hue to it, and some of them are speckled with different colors. When I was in Bolivia, just like walking through the market, it's like magic rainbow potatoes, just like on the side of the road. First, I'm going to cut through the uh, mashua. Inside, it's uh, very juicy looking. You can see some liquid in there. Looks good. Hmm. It does have a pretty strong smell. I'm just going to take like a little little slice of it, just a, a dime-sized slice of it, and just try it like on its own, uh, completely raw. Oh! Oh my! <laughs> oh god! What is that? That is not good raw. Maybe cooking it will make it better, but it has like a very strong medicinal kind of taste to it. It tastes like a like an Chinese herbal medicine shop smells. It like burns when you eat it too. Like not like heat, but like a little bit like horseradish kind of burn. I'm not getting in my my nasal cavity though. I think and usually if you eat like wasabi or horseradish, it gets you like in the nose. And this is just on the tongue. Yeah, just in case you, you were worried that I might be biased towards the, the things that I'm eating because somebody sent them to me. Um, I don't care for that, but I will say that it is definitely interesting. So uh, maybe, and it's something that people like. People use it a lot. I'm sure there's a reason for that. But eating it raw is not, uh, not, not a good idea. So I'm going to cook that and see if that changes the taste. So, why not? I'll try a little piece of this raw, too. More than anything, I just want to show the inside. It's so cool looking! Look at that! It's, it looks like a toy. It doesn't even look real. It tastes like a raw potato. Okay, so I just drizzled them with some olive oil and sprinkled some salt on top. This is going to go into the oven at 350 degrees for... I don't know. Alright, looks good. Nice and soft on the inside. I'm going to start with the Aluco just because it's a milder taste. Start there. Mm-hmm. Tasty. They have a flavor that is very similar to potatoes, but earthier. There's something like nice and rough about it. I think if you, especially when you roast it like that, it works really well. I think as like a mashed potato, it maybe wouldn't be so great, but when you're like dealing with something a little bit more like rustic in flavor, like roasting it was gonna have like a little bit of a char on it, there's something nice to that. It's like a nice, um, a nice wild kind of taste to it. So uh, yeah, I really like that. I think that's a good thing. Um, be a good thing to play with for sure. If you like potatoes and you want to like kind of mix it up a little bit, give it something a little bit more uh, rough but also delicious, those are a good way to go. All 
All right, time to try the Mashua. Uh, hmm. Yeah. It's like much better. When you eat that thing raw, it is bad news. But when you eat it cooked, it's fine. So I know what that tastes like. It tastes like something that I've had. But this is a thing that I don't think a whole lot of people have had. If you go to a Chinese grocery store or an Asian supermarket and you buy like vegetarian hot dogs or vegetarian bacon, like something vegetarian pork, it has like this bizarre spice to it. Maybe that's the flavor of pork because I'm, I've been vegetarian my whole life. I don't really know what pork tastes like. So maybe this thing tastes like pork. But to me, it specifically tastes like vegetarian pork that you get from an Asian market. It's a very peculiar flavor, and I think it's a flavor that maybe you can, you can utilize, but uh, more as an ingredient rather than like a main course. But both of them are very interesting for very different reasons. One of them tastes very bizarre, the other one looks really bizarre. So uh, once again, thank you to Wanderlust Nursery for sending this to me. I'll put their website down below. And everyone, I will see you next time. I would like to give a shout out to Smarter Every Day, AltPod, and the Harbor Leaf Tea Company. They are mega patrons over on Patreon.com. If you haven't heard of it, Patreon.com is it's how this channel happens. It's how I can afford to keep this YouTube channel going. So if you haven't checked it out, please take a moment to go into the description below and click the link there. Uh, I also have t-shirts for sale over at my web store. A link to that is in the description as well. Thanks so much, guys. Bye-bye.